Today we go to the French Grand Prix with a dry qualifying in Q3 but a wet Q1 and Q2. You'll only see Q3 however, it's the return of the French Grand Prix to the F1 calendar after a season absent. We fixed the lag issues from Silverstone again, apologies about that. Hopefully this is a lot better as we head towards turn one for our first lap in Q3. Felipe Djokovic got knocked out in Q2 so he made it through again so he's certainly trying to win his seat back from the from the um, grasps of poss of losing it. So here we go then In onto the straight. I haven't driven this at all in F123. I drove, drove it in F122. Obviously it was on the calendar back then. It's still on the game but it's not on the calendar. It's, it's made its return. Here as we head onto the straight. I love sector two in particular, sector three in particular. And this, here we go in sector two into the chicane, brake, take a bit of curb, turn in, and then get on throttle and power towards the right hand of the, the sweeping right hand. One of my favorite corners on the F1 calendar, I think. I really just enjoy doing it flat out. It's really fun. But this lap overall feels all right. I mean, I, I know it definitely could be better. But I was not prepared for the shock of what is about to happen. But in back to in terms of this championship, we lead George Russell by 76 points in the standings. And we want to get back to winning race after a very interesting Silverstone, you must say. Where Liam Lawson got on the podium and Oscar Piastri got his first win. As we come up to the line then, we're in Q3. We need to make this count. It's a 1. 29-6 for Oscar Piastri. It's a 1. 39 for us. Oh, dear. Deary me. Oh, no, no, no. We went out again, by the way. We just couldn't find time. We were three tenths down at the line. I don't know what happened there. But it's Lando Norris who locks out the front row with Oscar Piastri. So McLaren 1 2. They want to keep their winning ways. He looks mighty today, do McLaren. Verstappen in P3, Russell P4, Leclerc P5, Alonso P6, Sainz P7, Perez P8, Gasly P9, and we are in P10. In terms of tyre choices, very mixed. We've gone on to the softs. We saved a set of softs. Everyone else, the majority are on the softs. We've got quite a few medium runners as well. And a couple hard runners, including Pierre Gasly, who we start alongside. So here we go then. Formation lap, done. Now we're going to go to... Now we're going to go to... Can we... Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Now we're going to go to five red lights for the French Grand Prix here in Season 2. It's on its return to the F1 calendar. It's lights out. And away we go. Gasly bogs down on those hard ties. It is to be expected. As we're towards turn one, Alonso does not get a good start. It holds Perez. And we're going to go round the outside of him. And maybe round the outside of Alonso as well. Oh, so close. But up into P7. No, we're still jockeying for position. There we go. Up into P7. Ahead of Fernando Alonso. Now George Russell going defensive on us. Because we're going to go round the outside of the Mercedes Brit driver and up into P6. Good start from us. But Lando Norris is the one who leads the way from Max Verstappen, who's overtaken Piastri, Leclerc P4, and Sainz in P5. It's us in P6, Russell in P7, Alonso in P8, Perez, I believe, in P9, and Gasly, I think, rounds off the top 10 as now into the chicane we go. We already need to, we will need to stay in the DRS of these Ferraris. But we just haven't had the pace around here all weekend. The soft tyres, I just don't really like them on my car, to be honest, in terms of the race pace. But lap four now, we have managed to stick within the DRS. I'm going to go down the inside of Carlos Sainz. That was opportunistic. We had to make that. But has that cost us the DRS on Charles Leclerc? I don't think it has. But we're going to have to fight to stay in the DRS of the Ferrari ahead. We're up into P5, but that doesn't mean it's guaranteed just yet because we are eight tenths back. From Leclerc, we're going to need them to battle up ahead to catch up to them for sure. It's now coming in to the second straight. I think there should be DRS here as well. But either way, it doesn't matter. And we have managed to keep the DRS of Charles Leclerc just. It took, we had to fight for it. As you can see, my battery almost drained and Sainz is still behind us, going for the move on us. As Piastri is being overtaken by Verstappen as we speak. It, could Leclerc make a chance out of this? They're going wheel to wheel. Verstappen, I think, locked up. We break so late to try and stay ahead of Sainz. And now they're still going for it. Leclerc, he looks like he's got, got a chance here. He's got a run on Max Verstappen. Leclerc's going to go to the inside. He's going to overtake both of them. Two overtakes in one. For Charles Leclerc, for the Monegasque driver, and up into P2 for him. Lando Norris disappeared up the road, but 
Leclerc has now overtaken Verstappen, who was going for the win. Piastri ended up losing a position, but he gained one as well over the overtake, so he hasn't gained anything. Piastri, though, he's lost two places, and could that be three? Because we are sniffing around. He, Piastri, just like us, does not think the soft tyre is a good race tyre. And here we go then, he, Piastri has lost the DRS, and we've got the DRS on him, and we gain, we gain, we gain. Such a long straight here in France, we're going to make the move to the inside, break a bit later, yes we are, go very deep, force him a bit wide, we can give him the space though, to come back at us, and we give him a bit too much space, we get caught up a bit on the curb, and Piastri re-overtakes us for P4, and now, can we go back down the inside, around the outside? No, down the inside, though. Yes, we will. Thank you very much on Oscar Piastri. That was a very bold move. He covered off the outside when we wanted to go there. So we go down the inside. Instead, it's just what we do. And now, we are up into P4. Verstappen and Leclerc disappeared up the road. And we are going to box the slap. We want the undercut on Piastri. I hate these tyres so much. We're going to go come in early for the medium Compound tyres, very close on the pit limiter though. Very close indeed, as you can see the fronts really screaming out. The rears not too bad, only 38% and 40% respectively, but the fronts are already in the 50s, as Norris also thinks it's the right time to pit. So in Norris comes, he had a good stop I think. Stroll also, not Stroll, um, Alonso also in behind us as we come into the pits. Can we get a two second pit stop like we did in Silverstone? No, 2.4, we'll take it though. And now... As we exit the pit lane here, where are we going to be? We're going to be ahead. We're going to be come out in P13 in loads of clean air, exactly what we needed. And we're now going to have to use this undercut and hope that Piastri and Russell fight so they go extremely slowly. But now we're going to find out we need to get these teams to the side and push, push, push. And lap 10, there's lap, our, our outlap, on our outlap, we come out the pit they, Piastri and Sainz are coming out the pit and we're blasting past them already and we're up into P7 directly behind Lando Norris and Sainz and Perez are miles behind. I don't know what's happened to Oscar Piastri. I don't think he had a good stop or he must have got held up or he just got overtaken. But either way, we are now up into P7, five seconds ahead of Carlos Sainz and Sergio Perez. And now, this is something I did not expect. We have also undercut the Stappen. and the undercut has been so powerful here in France. And Leclerc's now oh, up ahead of us. Can we overtake him? We can we get in the DRS. There's a yellow flag behind. There's a virtual safety car. Okay. That's going to help us. Just look after our tyres a bit. But hopefully we don't lose any DRS or anything to Charles Leclerc. This is now full course safety car. Wow. I don't know what happened there. But either way, that's really going to help. It's going to bunch everyone off. Norris is going to lose his eight-second lead. Poor him. But now the safe car in this lap. Lap 14. We've got five laps to the end. Leclerc on the soft tyres. But those soft tyres are not a good race tyre. But could he still go for the win? He'll get a good grip initially. But, and now Lando Norris up ahead also on the medium tyres. And us in third also on the medium tyres. Verstappen and Sainz behind are gone onto hards for some reason. As now we get a good exit, very good launch off the restart. And Leclerc gets an awful launch. And as we cross the line, we're going to overtake Leclerc for P2. Let's go. Piastri's out of the session. Oh no, he's doing so well. Poor Oscar. He won in Silverstone. He was, looked like he was going to get a podium here. But no, he's not. In, he's going to come home empty-handed. And poor, un really unlucky. But one McLaren is still in P1. And can we overtake Norris for the lead of the race here? Both of us are on medium tyres. Both of us the same. They're both as old as each other. Norris is perhaps a slight bit older as he did more competitive laps on his. But now Leclerc wants to go for the move. We're going to have to deploy all our ERS. Our best engine power needs to work here and it does. And we keep P2 from the Ferrari and now Lando Norris, we're going to have to set our sights on him and lap 16 without even DRS. We're going to gain on Norris. We're going to use all our battery. We're going to gain. We're going to gain. We're going to gain. Norris looks like he's also using quite a bit of battery. We're going to use the slipstream and go round the outside of the McLaren. Yes, we do. Up into P1. And for the first time, we are leading a race for the first time since Austria. And now Lando Norris, though, he will want to come back at us. This from P10 to P1, this would be sensational. Norris wants to go around the outside. We cover it off, but we clearly didn't cover it off enough. But no, Norris couldn't make it the move around the outside. And we keep the P1. 
one position, but not for too long as Norris, lap 17, going for the move. We're going to have to break a bit later than the McLaren and force him very wide. We're going to do the same thing as we did to Piastri, give him the space, and we do exactly the same thing again as we let him through, and that's going to allow Leclerc through as well. That was not in the script, and now Leclerc's going for the move on Norris. We're going to have to go round the outside of them. We're going to move to the outside. We're going to go round the outside of both of them. What a move. What a move on Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc. What a double overtake by us. Let's go. Come on. Up into P1. That was not in the script. Let's go. There's no way that I still can't believe I did such a what a move. I, I just can't believe it. But either way, now Lando Norris will have another attempt. So we move on to the penultimate lap of the Grand Prix. We've got four more DRS straights for them to overtake and six more straights overall. It's Norris now with DRS. Is he going to go for the move into turn one? He's gaining for sure. He's going to go for it. Lando Norris into turn one takes the lead of the French Grand Prix and he blocks it off so we can't go back around the outside but Leclerc mate you are not going round our outside there but he might go down the inside here go Leclerc going for it but we cover it off not having any of that from Charles Leclerc it's not happening today but Lando Norris what is going to happen for us is the race win I think because we're going to have DRS here we're going to gain on Norris with battery DRS activated eighth gear uh, reaching speeds of almost 220 miles an hour and now we're going to go for the move on around the outside of Lando Norris and it's a pretty textbook overtake on Lando but Lando now will have to will, will be able to come back at us I don't doubt along with Charles Leclerc Max Verstappen may be having a sniff around as well but he's going weird to be with George Russell who's up into P4 maybe the Leclerc's soft might be beginning to wear a bit so Russell might be able to go for the move on him as Lando Norris it's still putting us under a lot of pressure. And now on the last lap of the race, Leclerc's managed to overtake us for the lead. He overtook Norris. He's trying to overtake us as well. We have to go deep to try and stop it. We're going wheel to wheel. Leclerc now gets the better exit. I'm sorry about that cut. I forgot to put in a transition. My bad. But either way, we're going to come to round the final corner. And we're going to win the French Grand Prix. We won in Austria. We took a break in Silverstone. We're going to win in France as well. It's P1 for us from P10 on the grid. And we had to work really, really hard for that one. I know I say it every race, but some, or the, maybe not calendar, we didn't have to work for it as much, but that one, we really had to do some great overtakes, especially that one on Leclerc and Norris. One of my favourite overtakes of this race of this season So then it's exactly Crofty. P1 for us. We extend our championship lead. And I think it's a question of if, ra when rather than if we win it. Unless we have an appalling run of form. Drogovic did finish in P7 and he's up to P15. But the, with the contract renewal, I'm not sure that's enough. He did so well in Silverstone. If he had another 18 points barring that safety car, he might have done better. But because that didn't happen through no fault of his own, we might not keep him. The contract renewal is now. We've got 9.46 million to spend. But who are we going to spend it on? Are we going to buy get, get try and get Alexander Albon into our team? 
he is really impressed in the Alfa Romeo, but he's sort of tailed off lately. What about Oscar Piastri, who's been really consistent all season? Or maybe, just maybe, a different driver. We'll find out next episode. But I'll see you guys then for the Belgian Grand Prix Sprint Weekend as well. And if you have enjoyed this part of my F123 My Team Career Mode, do make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out so much. And I'll see you guys next time for the Belgian Grand Prix and a new teammate. Goodbye.